Hey guys, this is Ryan and I actually did this on another video but I noticed that another iPhone application that I've already reviewed, um, I didn't have the sound on it and the application was called Bounce On. So what I'm gonna do is this is just a quick intro to this video just to share the soundtrack for this for this, um, for this this uh, game. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play a level really quick just so you can hear the sound effects as well as the music because I noticed that again accidentally my volume was turned off when I did the recording. I had no idea until I was already editing the video. So again, this is a quick video, just intro to the Bounce On um, iPhone app review just to show you that it does have a great soundtrack. And I'm gonna actually load in level. You can hear the actual the birds in the background. There's also sound effects. And also when you die, So again, lots of cool sound effects in this game, lots of cool music in this game. But I I didn't have the sound on when I when I initially reviewed this game. So I just wanted to do a very quick intro to let you know that Bounce On has a great soundtrack, great sound effects, great music, but in the review that you're about to see, there is none because I had the sound turned off. So I apologize for that, but that's the intro to Bounce On. I hope you enjoy this review. Hey, this is Ryan with AppCounter.com, and I've got the January 14th iPhone application review for the App Calendar. The iPhone application review is a game that's called Bounce On. Bounce On, you can tell, obviously, that it's built on the Plus Plus network. What the Plus Plus network is, is basically, for those of you that don't know, a social network built around games on the iPhone. I can access the Plus Plus network here. You'll see there's my unique apps profile. I can um, see my different awards and stuff for this game. I'm not going to go into detail about that. I'm actually just going to get straight into the gameplay. Um, as you can tell, first off, the graphics are really, really good for this game. I can see about here, I can actually actually see the cinematic um, intro or cinematic cinematic <laughs> intro um, or I can play the game the whole point of the game is you are this red ball that you control using the accelerometer and the story is you fell out of your owner's pocket and you're trying to beat all these levels to get back to your owner there's 75 levels and I think um, five different worlds that you play through um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it you'll see that the first game is only three percent done I'm just gonna go ahead and select that right now and here's my red ball right here on the screen. I can actually roll to any of the levels that I've already beat, or I can roll through to the new levels. I'm actually gonna play this level right here. Go ahead and roll on that and click select. And this actually, this game actually reminds me a lot of the, the classic games like Mario or Sonic the Hedgehog or something. You're basically roll, um, rolling around, jumping, trying to collect um, as many gems as you can. You bounce on your enemies. Obviously the object is um, to not get killed and to collect all your gems. Um, you can see there's 0 out of 38 in the least amount of time possible. Here's your life meter up here that says two right there and actually zero counts as a life so technically there's three lives left and I'm just gonna actually get straight into the gameplay and show you how this is is played um, there's only one main control is or two main controls is left or right on your iPhone will use the accelerometer to go and actually tapping on the screen will make your ball jump so the 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 longer you tap and hold you can see I can I can bounce really really short or if I tap and hold my ball will jump a little higher so here's a couple gems up here so I'm going to jump up there and grab those. And here's actually an enemy. So you you um, kill the enemies by bouncing on the enemies. So there's the first enemy down. And there's obviously different enemies um, with different... Um, like this guy takes two times to kill. So if I jump up and land on him, he actually go into a red ball, which will still kill you. So you actually have to jump on the red ball as well. Um, if I can do that <laughs> I'm with looking through this camera there it goes so that's red ball um, you don't have to kill every enemy in here the main object again is to get all of your gems in the quickest amount of time possible so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and go through this game and like I said this game reminds me a lot of the classic games like Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario these stars actually are your checkpoints so as soon as you pass those checkpoints if you die in the level you will go back to your checkpoint so again I gotta go back here to get all of these gems and once I pass this checkpoint this star will actually spin letting me know that I did pass the checkpoint 
Also, these little things are kind of like incubators where when your ball enters into these incubators, it will change. So this ball and the incubators are colored different. There's a soccer ball one. There's like a stone one that will give you invincibility for like 10 seconds or so. And this one is a soccer ball would actually give allow you to jump a lot higher. So you'll notice now when I hold it, I jump a lot higher than just the red ball. Um, so now I'm going to go through here. I'm going to try not to kill all, or, or I'm just going to try to get through this level so you can see. These little gold gold coins here are actually um, extra life. So you'll see when I get this gold coin, this will go to three. So I'm going to go ahead and roll in there and grab that coin. So you see my life just went up to three now. Again, like I said, you don't have to kill all your enemies. Just like the classic Mario, um, I mean, you can go past every one of them if you want, or you can kill them if you want. Um, these guys are actually tricky sometimes. And there's actually, let me actually get up there. Oops, didn't want to do that. <laughs> See if I can actually get up there. Again, I'm actually probably can't jump <laughs> that high. But if you see, um, there's another one of those incubators right there. I wanted to show you. I didn't mean to fall off there. Right there, there's one of those incubators. If I were to go in there, my soccer ball would actually change to a stone or, or like stone colored, and I pretty much have event invincibility for a, I think 10 or 15 seconds. Um, let me see if I can finish this here. I think the end of the level is coming up. Oops, don't want to die there. Let me get these few gems. It looks like I have 31 out of 38, 33 out of, th so I have five more gems to grab. Oop, don't want to die. And there's one two, and three gems. So after you complete all levels, you'll see that it says 38 out of 38. Sometimes um, it's kind of tricky. Sometimes you may miss a couple. You you don't have to go through the level, but in order to f get the full completion, you'll have to go through the level and find them again. So I can go back to any part of this level just by scrolling or, or using the accelerometer to go back. And then once you're done, you basically put yourself in this cannon here, and it'll shoot you out, and you'll finish the level. So there's the fin or there's the um, end of the level here, and it says that I can earn a gold medal by collecting all the gems in less than one minute and eight seconds. And oops, sorry for bumping the camera there. <laughs> and that's really it um, with this iPhone application. Fun application, um, very very uh, full feature with the 75 different levels and the four different worlds to play. There's a lot of gameplay in this application, and it's a fun application. It actually reminds me, uh, like I said, a lot of uh, kind of like the old Sonic the Hedgehog or the Mario, um, and then even even a little bit of Zelda, kind of as you're scrolling through the level here. So um, very fun game. I think if you like the old classic games, you're going to enjoy this. So go ahead and check it out in the App Store. I hope you enjoyed the January 14th review for the app counter, and I hope you all have a great day.